Secure storage is becoming more important in embedded applications because oftentimes the security is actually embedded in the storage device as opposed to in the processor itself. So can you tell us a little bit about the kinds of storage that uh, Windbond has in this space? Yes, so we offer a secure flash memory devices uh, that offers the, the secure encryption uh, on the device itself. So it does not burden the host processor. Uh, it could be any kind of a micro or the processor as well. Um, so it gives a lot of freedom for the, the designers to implement security. Now, is this something that is uh, embedded in the uh, memory that you just write to it, or how do you authenticate, for example, uh, data that's being stored in there? Sure. So the uh, the device is actually the uh, same footprint as a standard Spinor device. And unless the secure function is enabled, it op operates just like any other uh, NOR flash. Um, but you can execute these uh, uh, secure commands through a library, which the host process can, can run on. And that's how you can basically turn on the functionality uh, on the memory. Now, some, what are some of the application spaces for this? Uh, does it fit for over-the-air updates, for example? Sure. So one obvious use is the secure storage, where the contents of the flash would be encrypted and cannot be read without a key. Uh, but more importantly, these days, there's the uh, over-the-air update, where you know many of the processors need a code update uh, capabilities, but making sure that the right code is updated so it wouldn't brick uh, the system, or, mm -hmm. or worse yet, you know, the system get taken over. So how does that actually work? Is it something where uh, the data gets written and is somehow signed ahead of time? Uh, so um, the, the system needs to get the right key, uh, and then once the key is received, uh, then it authenticates the, the incoming code, and then that's how the, uh, the, the content is going to be authenticated. Mm -hmm. Now, can this type of storage also do authentication uh, or verification of uh, keys that have been downloaded, for example? Yes, so um, there, there's various methods of security. Security is not just the one, one method, but that's certainly authentication can be done um, by the memory device too. Okay. Well, thanks for filling us on the capabilities of secure storage. Sure.